Hude and welcome to the next episode of my YouTube video series Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition. After doing the unboxing and a quick look at the documentation in the previous edition, now it is time to power on the device, connect it to Home Assistant and explore the created entities and objects. To keep each episode concise, I'll demonstrate how to configure a locally running voice assistant in Home Assistant using Whisper for speech recognition and Piper for speech synthesis in the next episode. In this video, I'm using a virtual box image of Home Assistant in version 2024.12.4 and I have enabled some demo entities to play around with. At the time of recording, only a work in progress documentation is available. However, by the release date of December the 19th, 2024, the shown link will bring you to the start guide on how to set it up. But now, Let's go! Before powering on the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition device, let's take a first short look to the dashboard under Settings, About, so as mentioned in version 2024.12.4. So let's go to our devices within the Settings tab and you can see all the default and demo uh, devices and integrations on this page. And now let's enable our device. And here's all we need. We have the device, obviously. We have a USB-C uh, power cable and we have the wake word OK Nabu, which will trigger the device waiting for the request. So uh, let's go here and you can see we have this audio jack for uh, an external speaker and we have the uh, USB-C power connector. So let's simply power on the device. While Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition is booting up, there are multiple ways to integrate it into Home Assistant. When your Home Assistant server has Bluetooth support, this can be done by Bluetooth, or you can use the Home Assistant app on your smartphone. Just a few seconds after I powered on the Voice Preview device, I see under this Discovered tab in the user interface, Home Assistant ID uh, found in my case by Bluetooth. So let's hit Add. Yes, Submit. At first you have to enter the Wi-Fi credentials because the Home Assistant Voice Preview Edition or WePE um, operates by Wi-Fi only. Now you have to push the button on the device for authorization reasons. The first thing to happen is that the device or Home Assistant will check for updates and make some noise. So we can configure the device by now or can do later on. So I will skip this for now. Can choose the area, but I will skip this. You can choose whether to use the Nabucaba or Home Assistant Cloud for speech processing, so speech recognition and speech synthesis or do this fully local. But again, let's skip this for now. Now we have powered on the device, we have connected it to Home Assistant, we have skipped the configuration, but let's take a look to this ESP Home tab here. There's one device, which is obviously our uh, voice preview edition or WePE, as we friends say. <laughs> You can see it brings with a media player control. You can choose which assistant should be used, the preferred or home assistant, or if you have multiple voice assistants configured, the list is probably longer, but we'll come to that one in the next episode of this video playlist. You can set this finished speaking detection, uh, default relaxed or aggressive, might depend on how many pauses and silences you have while talking, the actual request. Um, you can enable or disable the LED ring light. Obviously, you can enable or disable this one too by uh, setting in automations, for example. And you can set a default color of the ring light here. So we have uh, multiple colors to choose from. Not sure if this is so good to see on the video, but if I switch the color, okay, yeah, it's, it's you can see the color is changing 
depending on what I choose from the uh, from the Home Assistant UI. You can mute the device. This might be a use case uh, in a time schedule automation. So maybe disable the microphone by night. The muted microphone is indicated by red bubbles on the LED ring light. You can activate the wake sound that is played when the wake word is detected. Set this on or off. But by now, as we have not configured any speech recognition engine or speech synthesis engine, we cannot actually talk to the VPE, but we can play around with the activation key. Let's give OK Nabu a try. OK, <laughs> obviously. Um, OK Nabu. OK Nabu works like a charm. Uh, if I disable the wake sound in the configuration, let's disable it. OK, Nabu. So no activity, no audio feedback. I enable it again. Wake sound. Uh, wait. <laughs> OK, Nabu. It's way too late. <laughs> uh, if you would like to, for privacy reasons maybe, to Disable the microphone hardware based. This is uh, possible too. So let's use this hardware switch on the side. If I move this slider, you can hear and see this red bubbles on each side indicating the microphone is now disabled. And now by hardware. So obviously you cannot develop an automation that will enable the microphone. This is just possible for software enabled or disabled microphone access. So let's test it. OK, Nabu. OK, Nabu. If you would like to change the default color of that ring light, this is possible even without having access to the Home Assistant user interface. Just push the button and move the slider This is not too good to see on camera, but uh, trust me, the color is changing while moving this slider here. Next, let's take a short look to the entities that have been created while setting up the VPE device. So for that, let's go back, hit this arrow on the uh, ESP home device, click 12 entities by now, and here we have all the entities that come out of the box with the device. So uh, firmware information and uh, LED ring configuration, media player, the mute, the wake sound, uh, the button press. So I guess, did not try it out yet, uh, you can develop automations integrating with the button press. By the way, we will see another use case for the button. Um, if we configured the speech recognition and speech synthesis part and can really interact with the VPE, um, the button in the center always stops. So if there is any announcement, the VPE is talking or a timer is actively running, you can use the center button to cancel the output. And finally, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share the video with other Home Assistant voice technology enthusiasts and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and hit the notification bell to not miss upcoming videos. That's it. I hope you liked it. I hope you have a nice rest of the day. And if you like, we might see us next time. <laughs> Bye.